Hello, everyone. Right now, authorities are searching for a man accused of impersonating a police officer. This happened around 10 o'clock this morning in Monroe County. State police say someone installed red and blue lights uh, on the grill of their car and then pulled a driver over. Yeah, 24 Hour News 8's Megan Sanctorum spoke with police about this case. Megan, what are they telling you tonight? Well, Indiana State Police say finding the person responsible is one of their top priorities right now. And they say they don't take cases like this lightly. Driving a black Ford Mustang and wearing a polo and badge, Indiana State Police say someone is impersonating an officer. It makes my stomach turn just thinking that there's somebody out there that would, would have an inclination to do this. But there is, according to Sergeant Kurt Durno. The suspect is driving a car that looks like this. It has a thin blue line vanity plate on front and red and blue lights installed in the grill. What could possibly be your motive to go out and impersonate a police officer, you know, without having the certifications and the training and, and everything that, that you need, you know, to, to do that? It's literally something that keeps us up at night. State police say the suspect initiated a traffic stop on Arlington near State Road 46 this morning and then identified himself as an Indiana State Trooper. He drove away when the person in the other car sensed something was off and said they were calling 911 to verify the stop. This isn't the first time police have seen a case like this. They say, unfortunately, red and blue lights are easy to get. You can get those lights uh, uh, anywhere off the Internet. Uh, those can be installed um, by anyone who knows a thing or two about ele electricity. So now he's warning drivers to be alert, trust your gut, and call police to verify if you're ever unsure about who's pulling you over. It's something that we have no tolerance for whatsoever, and we need to put a stop to it immediately. Police say they have gotten numerous leads and they're working to follow up on those right now. And if you have any information that could help them out in this investigation, call ISP Bloomington. That number is 812-332-4411. In the newsroom, Megan Sanctorum, 24-Hour News 8.